A warm welcome. This is Electric Energy Generation Utilization and Conservation course with lecture 3.3 focusing on dielectric heating and electric arc furnace. Dielectric heating. We have already come across with the term dielectric medium in earlier school days. So what is a dielectric medium? Normally we used to study this medium uh, in terms of capacitive effect. So what is a capacitor? We have two parallel plates uh, which of charge let us consider one to be a positively charged plate and the other one is a negatively charged plate. Between the plates definitely there will be an air gap and this air gap itself can act as a dielectric medium or otherwise we can place a certain material which can be acting as a dielectric medium. That is uh, depend, depending upon our requirement for any certain applications, uh, we can consider this. Uh. So when an electric voltage is applied across this capacitive plates or parallel plates, uh, the when voltage is applied, both the plates get charged and now there should be a travel of current from one plate to the other and this traveling can be eased through the dielectric medium's presence. So now how dielectric medium is used for producing heat. This is what is the concept in dielectric heating. When applying voltage, an AC voltage is applied to the parallel plate capacitor and while applying the voltage, the positively charged plate, it will transfer the electricity towards the negatively charged plate. So while it is traveling through the dielectric medium, the dielectric medium will be uh, opposing the flow of current to a small extent. It is not actually a conductor. So it will offer certain type of pressure to the electricity for its passage. Obviously when electricity is forced at that place, it will convert its electric form into thermal form. That is the heat. It produces a certain Heat. In this way, dielectric heating can be achieved. And for certain applications, uh, there may be natural formation of dielectric medium. And that, if heating is a necessary one, this type of dielectric heating will be a very good approach and it will be helpful at that time. So now we can see the graph when voltage increases only uh, to a certain point. I mean, uh, uh, when uh, it almost we are applying the in phase component of uh, the current uh, to only within a certain extent of voltage the current drawn will be higher the current is very much increasing like a peak level so let us consider the ip value and the charging current ic value by taking the vector application we get the current i now the power drawn from the supply is given obviously the ic value which is equal to the capacitance current is v by xc we know xc is nothing but the capacitive reactance which is 1 by 2 pi f into c while substituting we get the power value as such uh, let us take the phi value to be 90 degree minus delta because this is a capacitive one so we are consider phi is equal to 90 degree minus delta on substituting cos phi becomes a cos of 90 minus del which is nothing but sin del and it can be considered to be a del value when it is of very small and is expressed in radians. So the power formula becomes P is equal to 2 pi F C D square into del value. So capacitance formula we know it is the permittivity into area divided by thickness. So we are considering absolute permittivity of the vacuum which is nothing but 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter and the, the epsilon r value which is nothing but the relative permittivity of the dielectric medium. For ER you can have ER epsilon r is equal to 1 and the T the thickness of the dielectric slab and capital A is the area of the dielectric slab. Next is the electric arc furnace which is used for generating an electric arc. So arc is produced, when arc is produced we know that uh, uh, there may be scattering of that arc. 
So in order to avoid such a scattering effect, we are using electric arc furnace, and this adjacks what a vertical core type furnace is very much helpful in protecting the uh, charge from scattering. It will be uh, having the charge within the container itself, and it can be safely taken out for the required purpose. Here we can see the construction of the electric furnace to be at the bottom it is of V shaped. So it is a V shaped channel. We have primary winding as well as secondary channel. So uh, in the middle we have a central iron core. Surrounding that we used to have the primary winding and after the primary winding we have the V shaped secondary channel which is then covered with refractory lining because the heat will be very high. It should not affect the external environment. For that purpose, we are having refractory lining. Uh, uh, the central iron core is then pulled over to the outer, outer part uh, through the outer iron core material. Now we are going to place the charge within this container, the V-shaped container. And now uh, the charge is further protected with the certain metal fittings are at the top and over that fire bricks are being placed or also the certain bricks are being placed at the surrounding level in such a way this electric arc furnace is found to be a safe one in order to uh, heat the charge the plain principle of operation is that of a transformer since we have a primary and the secondary and they are parted and hence uh, in which the secondary turns are replaced by a closed loop of molten metal here. The primary winding is placed on the central limb of the core. Therefore, the leakage reactance is comparatively very low and so the power factor will be very high. Inside the furnace, uh, there is a lining with the refractory material. Depending upon the charge, we can vary the material. On the top of the furnace is covered with insulated cover which can be removed for charging. Necessary arrangements are usually made for tilting the furnace to take out the molten metal because since it, uh, it will be a hot one, uh, automatically tilting for uh, tilting may, uh, I mean uh, arrangements will be made. The molten metal is in the V shape and this will be acting as a short circuited secondary. The primary is connected to the AC supply. High current will be accumulated at the bottom and even a small amount of charge will keep the secondary completed. Hence, a chance of discontinuity of the circuit is max to the maximum, it will be less. Thank you.